Here's a quick tip from the jewelry workshop. Now, I have one side of the metal that I've really focused on cleaning. I'm going to remember to place that side face down onto the transfer film when I'm ready to set up my transfer. I'm going to go ahead and use a little masking tape to hold my piece onto the transfer film. Transparent tape works too. The tape is really only going to be important for the first couple minutes of this process. After that, the transfer film will adhere itself to the metal. So use less tape than you think you need. It tends to just get in the way. It can also gum up the iron, so if you're going to use the iron for your regular household chores, you may want to be especially careful about the tape. You'll notice that I'm just taping to the underside here. I'm not taping around the whole piece. That's because I want direct contact between the iron and the shiny side of my transfer. Right now my piece is taped stable to the, to the matte side where the ink is, making direct contact. Now I'm going to flip it over so that the shiny side is up. And that's the side that I'm going to begin to iron on. Let's talk for a moment about my iron. It's not a special iron, no superpowers here, just a regular household iron. I have it set to silk acrylic, which is a medium low setting. Usually I would say if you have setting numbers like one through 10, aim for a setting that's about three or four. Uh, it is possible to melt the transfer film. So you wanna aim a little low at first rather than going too high and ruining it. Uh, you can always turn this up. I also place the setting on no steam. I don't want any excess water coming out of the iron during this process. If a little comes out, simply dry off your piece and start again. It's not a big deal. Um, you can purchase irons created specifically for this purpose. They're coated with a nylon and uh, they're designed to not scratch the press and peel paper. I don't think it's a worthwhile investment. Also, they're small, so you can only do one piece at a time. This iron, if you're careful, you could do six or seven pieces at once, which really expedites the process. Uh, again, so my setting is silk acrylic, which is medium to high. And at this setting, I've used this iron before, it'll take me about five to seven minutes to transfer. I'm going to iron on a piece of wood, in this case, my clean work table, but you may want to reserve a piece of clean wood at home for this process. Simply going to flip the iron down onto the object, move it lightly back and forth with some pressure, and then I can even leave it there and work on something else as long as the piece is completely covered. Every minute or so, I wanna come back and just move the iron around with a little more pressure. For more great ideas from the Jewelry Workshop, click the link.